My research is based on the concept of cinema and what is considered cinematic. That's why I started to produce sculptural objects that actually had some sort of life. The machines that I produce are often hybrids, uh, which um, include, uh, beside the mechanical apparatus, uh, uh, some other features like wigs uh, or uh, jewelry exhibitors uh, and devices and tools and props that are uh, created to exhibit something else. So sometimes I call them a minority of objects that I want to actually um, put in the work and make them protagonist of the work. The work that I propose to San Lorenzo uh, is called The Lady Vanishes and it is inspired by two different facts which are related. One of the inspirations is uh, a very short film by Georges Méliès, which uh, was a pioneer of uh, filmmaking. The other one is uh, a trick, which has the same name, The Vanishing Lady, which was used in, uh, in storefront windows in Chicago in 19, uh, by uh, Frank Baum, that is also the author of uh, The Wizard of Oz to animate the window of the store, the storefront window, in order to attract more visitors to the shop. So in both cases there is a female body that someone else makes to appear and disappear. So somehow the female body and existence is managed by someone else. So of course these uh, raise uh, questions about uh, gender identity agency of the female body. In the work that I propose for this uh, occasion, I use a set, a set of um, uh, jewelry exhibitors in the shape of hands, mirrors, motors, and iron. Once again, to produce this animation fact that uh, to me stands for the appearance of life, while the mirror uh, provides the possibility for the spectator to actually appear and disappear in the work itself. So, um, constantly there is this possibility for the visitor and the, the spectator of the work to be in the work or to be out of the work, while all these hands um, constantly uh, loop in this set uh, of caresses uh, and very gentle gestures that are at the same time seductive and inviting but also um, mysterious.